crazy. They They're, really do look like dinosaurs. They feet. do look like dinosaurs. This is just crazy to me. It's, it's a beak. It's a beak. <laughs> the cow wants to get in on the action. Okay, cow. I mean 80 degrees no <laughs> what's the temperature I don't know it's probably like 65 or something. 65 hello little lady oh she's a good little sheep how are you doing so when you have a farm you have animals you have to decide at some point which ones are you gonna keep and which ones are you gonna sell? Because it's like, we're not having a, like a whole Dalmatian plantation here, you know? Like where your animals have babies and you just keep them and you just keep the other babies and you just keep them. That's not how it works. Sometimes your mind changes. We were gonna milk sheep. Yeah, so let me explain my plan that I originally had. So the reason why we decided to raise sheep in the first place was because sheep are really good at eating grass and we have a lot of grass here. Goats aren't that great at eating grass. They're really picky and they only want like the bushes and the weeds and stuff. So that's the reason why we got her. Well, we got really lucky with this one here because she's actually a milking sheep. And so we thought, oh, this is awesome. Let's milk the sheep. We've milked sheep before. We actually prefer the milk. She was such a great sheep. She was really friendly and everything, which is not typical of sheep. Hey, let's, let's, let's milk some sheep. And then what did we figure out? We realized we already have a lot of milk and they only milk for six months out of the year mm -hmm. it would also mean we'd have to breed her every year which is takes work you got to go take them somewhere because we don't keep a ram here yeah and then you know when we have all that extra milk then it's like then i have to do something with it I make cheese or something mm -hmm. and and then so i really had to look at the purpose like what is our purpose for having animals here so we decided we're going to sell this sheep this cute little sheep right here to somebody who wants to do that who wants to milk them and wants to have a really good breeding stock so i mentioned on my instagram i got a lot of great advice from people that said when it's an animal that you've raised from hand an animal that has really been bred well and bred for milk why not sell it to somebody who's going to use them for that purpose and like have really good breeding stock part of like animal husbandry is continuing the lines of the animals that have really good qualities that you want to continue so this sheep I'm gonna go to a farm where the woman has a breeding ram that's the same breed as her and she'll have babies and she'll be a milking sheep for her one thing somebody told us I thought was really good advice is they said even though it's cute that the duck and the sheep are friends at the same same time the duck needs a duck and the sheep needs a sheep it's kind of true the duck uh, will get stepped on a lot and she broke a couple toes <laughs> a while back because the sheep ran over her so the sheep's gonna go to somebody who wants to raise milking sheep and the duck will find another duck friend and be happy as can be are you so excited <laughs> huh I think she, he said no Are you wearing Superman socks? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah, she didn't did trust you have us. a scary time? She did. That was not anything you've ever experienced before, is it? No. <laughs> oh, he's pretty. Cool? Oh, look, that's cute. They go right to each other. I wonder. <laughs> and she's probably like, What are these alpaca thingies? <laughs> Alpacas are all curious about her, too. She's so pretty. This this cow is so pretty. This cow? Yeah. Oh, this is pretty. Look at that. Yeah, it's fun. Oh, this is. Can you feed them and feed them? You can. Them? She's always looking for something to eat. Here, something in there probably to eat. She'll they're so toys. fun to look at. I know. Like, Aren't this they is cool. And those dinosaur just, feet are crazy. They really do look like dinosaurs. They feet. do look like dinosaurs. This is just crazy to me. It's, it's a beak. <laughs> the cow wants to get in on the action. Nice. 
Okay, cow. Oh, so very cute. She was hatched out last ah. spring. So she's okay. less than a year old. Okay. She comes from really good laying lines. Her mom is a fantastic layer and she's been laying already. So. Oh, really? She may be getting eggs right away. Wow. Oh, wow. That's awesome. They lay almost year round. It's like my duck, mom. I know. They're so similar. It's so cool. That's a pretty duck, too. She's really pretty. Is she super light? You hold her? Look what we brought you! <laughs> oh, look! Luna, get out of here! Oh! Oh! What? Don't bite! <laughs> they're just instinctively. Oh my gosh, extinct. I think they're gonna instinctively follow each other! <laughs> I don't, I think the male's kind of scared. That's the female. Female ducks are always usually. She's like, already laying eggs. We've got to become friends. He's like very concerned with not being around her. <laughs> Does not want, oh look at, she's so cute. She's like wagging her little tail for him. Come on, you guys eventually will fall in love. I just know it. <laughs> it's like a blind date, you know? Uh-oh. I don't know where the duck went. I think, I think you went all the way back there. Let me chase you back there. Go, go. There he is. Well, eventually they will bond. Hormones will take over. 